Don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Hey guys, it's Kylie. Today I have a pink and green cut crease look for you guys. If you like it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and let's get into it. Okay, so as you can tell, I already have my brows done, so I'll link that up in the cards. Um, but I am going to start by priming my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to set that concealer in place with the shade My Precious from the So Jaded palette. I'm going to use the shade Sugar from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pink Passion Blush Trio for my transition shade. And now with the shade Sandbar from the ColourPop She's a Rainbow palette, I'm going to pack that in my crease, but I'm going to pack it a little bit higher than I normally do because I'm going to do a cut crease. And then I'm just taking the blush from the Anastasia palette again to blend out those edges. Now I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape again to make a cut crease. Okay, so now with the makeup wipe, I'm very carefully gonna, well first I'm gonna wipe away any fallout, um, but then I'm going to wipe any product that's below my cut crease. Okay, that should work. And now I am just going to take the Tarte Shape Tape again and lay that down in this bare area. Going back into the shade My Precious, I'm going to try to set that concealer in place, but only in the part that will crease. I'm trying to keep this part in the outer corner tacky. Now on a wet angled brush, I'm going to take the shade No Scrub and line my eyes with that. The reason I kept the concealer tacky towards the lash line is because I'm hoping that it'll help grip this color better. And that is not showing up like I want it to. And that green is not 
as pigmented as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to go in with the NYX Slide On Glide On Eye Pencil in Esmeralda. Now with the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, I'm going to take that deep green shade and pack that on top of the green eyeliner. Now going back into No Scrub from the ColourPop palette, I'm going to pop that shade on top of the eyeliner and the eyeshadow. So I finished up this eye and I tried to keep the darker shades to the outer corner and I focused that bright green on the inner corner and now I'm going to try to do the same thing on the other eye. Packing the NYX green on that. And then finally taking that color pop green again. Now I'm going to ever so slightly smudge out those greens with the sweet spot. So after going back and forth between Sweet Spot and No Scrub, I smudged out the liner a little bit more and now I'm going to take the Fire Glitter from that palette and the NYX Glitter Glue and I'm going to trace the cut crease with those two. First going in and laying down the Glitter Glue. And then packing the glitter on top of the glue. Now I'm going to clean up the edges just a little bit and wipe out any glitter fallout. And I'm going to prime with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I'm trying not to get glitter all over my face this time. Probably still will. Got a little bit of glitter everywhere. Not as much as last time though. And I don't feel like wearing foundation today, but I am going to pop on a little bit of the First Aid Beauty Triple Protection Skin Tint. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. And then I'm setting that concealer in place with the Cody Airspun Powder. I'm going to contour with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche.
For our bronzer, I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. For blush, I'm using the same sugar shade I used in my crease. Highlighting with the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and Be My Highlight. Just popping it on the high points of my face. Focusing mainly on my cheekbones, nose, and Cupid's bow. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone with that shade. I'm going to redefine my big freckle with the e.l.f. brow pencil. I'll redefine my smaller freckles with the NYX micro brow pencil. Is it too bright in here? <laughs> Lining lips with the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in Lost in Love. Popping on a little bit of the Becca Beach Tint in Guava. And then anything remaining on my fingers from that, I'm just tapping on my cheeks. For gloss, I'm using the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Double Happiness. Just setting my brows in place really quick with the Essence Clear Brow Gel. Finishing up the eyes, I'm going to buff Sandbar on my lower lash line. And then I'm blending out those edges with the blush again. Gonna put Mary Jane on my inner corner. And just brighten that up a little bit with pearl. And then going back in with the NYX glitter primer, I'm gonna pop a tiny, tiny bit of this Bitsy Nail and Body Glitter on my inner corners as well. I'm gonna line my waterline really quick with the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. I cheat for bigger, brighter eyes. That's a mouthful. I'm gonna do the tiny, tiniest little line of eyeliner right on my lash line so my lashes mesh well with my falsies. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and give them a light coating of the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. Now I'm popping on some Ardell Wispies and I'm using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. Making sure to give them a nice little bend while the glue is getting tacky.
Okay, lashes are on. I'm gonna conceal the lash line a little bit. And that's the finished look. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday.